We've all been people pleasers. Don't feel bad about it. Let's just have a conversation about it. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Deborah. My name is Obi. Today we'll be talking about ways in which we've been people pleasers, why we think people are people pleasers, and what you can do to stop being people pleasers. We're also talking about being able to say no to people. So yeah, keep watching. So how have you in particular been a people pleaser? In every aspect of my life, okay. I think. But just generally being able to say no to people or really say what's on your mind, like if someone invites me out not being able to say no or simply say no I don't want to come or someone asks me to do something just like literally in so many aspects of my life just not being able to really say my mind because I don't want to make the other person uncomfortable or to make the other person upset like for example um with the time where this random boy who I hadn't spoken to for at least a year came to ask me for money and I think deep down I knew he wasn't going to pay me back because he was asking me to lend him the money and he had this whole stupid sub story Instead of me to say no, I didn't want him to say, oh, Debra is stingy or Debra doesn't want to help. And because I was so concerned with being seen as a kind person, I gave the boy the money. He never paid me back the money till today. And mm. the friendship still got ruined. So what I was afraid of happening still ended up happening. And you did it just to make him feel better or like what? Well, I think I did it because I wanted to be seen as a kind person by mm. him. Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mine is worse. Uh, <laughs> I was dating someone and I didn't I didn't want to date her anymore and I didn't break up with her because of I thought I would hurt her feelings and I didn't want her to not like me anymore like mm. she would, yeah so that kind of thing and I ended up just not breaking up with her and like that's even worse well, because yeah. of I wasn't happy in the relationship she doesn't deserve to be she, someone who yeah yeah it's not a long term I think everybody's looking for something long, long term, term yeah. and no and, one you know, wants you to date them because you feel bad for them yeah I was wasting yeah. her time mm. or there have been times where to make my parents feel better about having me as their kid then I <laughs> then I do I just basically do what they want so if, whether it's like going to this school or studying this thing or whatever it is mm -hmm. like I never made the choice in school to study sciences I always felt like oh I'm going to study sciences because my parents want me to mm -hmm. so there are so many times in my life that I was just doing things for other people and I can't even imagine not doing that thing mm -hmm. because of they would feel bad but then I haven't asked myself what I what want, you want. Um, why do you think people are people pleasers? Well, first of all, I think this, it comes from a place of fear too. Fear of losing this person. Okay. Especially in friendships and maybe even relationships. So you want them to see you as a kind person or a nice person because if they don't, you're afraid that they will leave. Yeah. So I think that might be one of the reasons. For sure. I think the same thing for me, like on your point, because of I felt like if I didn't do what my parents wanted, they would have hated me. But then like your parents love you and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But then like, we also know how Nigerian parents are. And like if you do too much literally they will disown you also for me it's because of i was trying to avoid conflict it's just an uncomfortable situation yeah like it's even crazy because for me there's a part of it where it's like i just don't want to do something and i'm saying no because i don't feel like it but there are times where it's i actually cannot help this person say maybe they're like oh deborah can you come help me do this and i have work or have something else that and i have to say no in those situations mm -hmm. because i literally there's nothing i can do about it but even after i've said no i still start thinking Thinking like, oh, does this person hate me now? But even when I'm meeting them up, I'm like, oh, they hate me. And the little yeah. thing that happens is like, oh, is it because of this? And, and then I now try to make up for it by being extra nice. Like, it's not your responsibility to do. Like, as long as you say what you had to say politely, mm -hmm. that's all you owe them. You don't owe them to now start babying their feelings or say, oh, are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. Like, yeah. And that's that's part of the whole thing. Just like me trying to confirm mm -hmm. that we're still good. Even like with friendships, friendships sometimes just they just die. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason maybe one person isn't interested or you get and it's happened to me where i've watched people who were my friends like drift away from me maybe i don't know why and then i am now like forcing it pushing like this for like and it's like yeah if they don't want to be friends with you again why just let it go like just that need to have everybody like you really and for me it's even worked in the opposite like when i've been trying so much to be friends with them just doing any like then you become a pushover and then people now even start to lose respect for you right. So it's like there's not even a place where you win sometimes, you know, yeah. a lot of times. No, really, like the times where I've done things just because I don't want them to feel bad or because I want them to like me, it never goes well. Because you really don't want to be there, your attitude will reflect it. Mm -hmm. Or they don't even just appreciate what you're doing for them and you never ever wanted to do it in the first place. So you're like, yeah. why, why are you doing it? I never wanted 
it it just never ends well and it's not even their fault yeah. that they don't appreciate it it's you that is yeah. like putting it on mm. yourself really at the end of the day you're not winning mm -hmm. really and finally how did you stop being a people pleaser curb those attitudes well i don't think i've been able to fully curb it i'm not going to lie <laughs> Yeah. There's still been times recently where I've found myself doing that. But for the most part, I just remind myself that just re remembering the past experiences of how I've lost money, lost my self-respect, lost a lot of things. Like it never had, it never really works out the way you think it would. Mm. So just reminding myself, like, then what's the point? Just do what you want to do because literally everybody else will do what they want to do. So mm. do you because that's the only thing you can you can control. If you try to control them by controlling your actions, you just end up be the shorter end of the stick so I, I try yeah. to remind myself of that I also remind myself like if the people I'm afraid of leaving leave because I said no because I couldn't help them or because mm -hmm. I'm trying to set boundaries then I have no business I, I don't even want those kind of people in my life because mm -hmm. they're just really taking advantage of if you will leave because I said no to you for something then that means you that's what you're really in the friendship for so good yeah reasons. for me I have this thing where I try to put myself over everybody over the whole world and it doesn't mean I don't care for people I, or I'm not considerate but then I think it's important for me to just put myself before other people and then if unless I personally feel like because of I also have a character where I would feel bad if this person is in a bad situation yeah so if I can help I'll absolutely help but yeah, then, yeah. I think what you're saying is not necessarily putting yourself like obviously I know you would want to be kind you would want to go out of your way to help people but because you want to help them because you feel sympathy for them or you not because yeah, you want it them, comes yeah, from me exactly. yeah yeah, it not, comes from you. Yeah. I don't want people to think you're saying that. Yeah, I don't care about anybody else, just me. That it's just like no. in terms of your the, the process in your mind that yeah. leads to that action comes from you wanting yeah. to do it. Yeah. Yeah, and not because of they would feel somehow about exactly. me. It's because I want to be able to be there for them. Yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah that's exactly what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, screw everybody. Yeah, I think like also just like realizing your worth because you, if you know what you're bringing to the table and you know that you're this person, you you care for people, you love people, if you just know who you are mm -hmm. and what you're bringing to the table, you, you don't wouldn't, worry yeah, about you wouldn't it. worry about it because you know that the right people will find you and anybody who leaves, that person is not for you. I think that also helps. Also too. like, yeah, I also judge myself by the people around me who respect me. Like if you respect me, my dad respects me and this these are people who I care about the opinions mm -hmm. then I know that other, if other people are looking at me somehow then it would like I wouldn't take that strongly because I would tell the story to the people who are around me that I, I respect their opinion and then they'll give me perspective and they'll give they'll be able to tell me well you did that wrong or you did this right or yeah no that yeah, guy is somehow. I know I relied on well just people close to me heavily for that because when I was trying to stop these people pleasing habit of mine it was very difficult and if you try to do it and you experience it no it's normal you doubt yourself so bad because like yeah. now all these things it's easy to say yeah I don't care if you leave I don't care mm -hmm. but when you're seeing people drop out of your life mm -hmm. like that you can start wondering like is it me and you have all the self-doubt so hopefully yeah. either you're strong enough in, your, in yourself to know that what you're doing is the right thing or you have people who you trust and who have your best interest at heart that will be there mm -hmm. to tell you truthfully mm -hmm. whether what you did was you know the right thing or if you were mean or if you know give you perspective and on you know that. what and if you were do so if I came to ask you for advice you you wouldn't tell like you you would understand like no mm. this is how it's supposed to be like you're, you're not doing anything wrong but then when you're the one in this you're, situation yeah, you judge yourself more harshly yeah, yeah you judge yourself because i know you used to tell me that like when i come and i'm like oh this is why i said no to this person or what do you you're like if it was me what would you say yeah and i'm like yo if it was you they should leave what the heck and then yeah. i'm now defending you and then it's like yo, but you're, not, you're defending not defending yourself, yourself. yeah jinx <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that's definitely another thing to consider yeah and so that's our take on it that's how we feel about these things i hope it, this helps you guys like curb these attitudes because of at the end of the day you're the one that should matter to you, you spend all the time with yourself and so you should be able to put yourself in front of other people where it's like matters and yeah. i think you say this better than i can i'm not i'm not that <laughs> good with the with words but <laughs> yeah 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 tell us if you guys like this video let us know what you want to see in the comments below let us know if you've also been people pleasers. Yeah. And guys, I'm sorry for the last video of the edits. Uh, like the... <laughs> oh, God. Let's not even... Let's I don't hope even... you didn't even notice.
<laughs> yeah, I, I, it was so obvious that you definitely noticed. So yeah. I'm sorry about that. I don't know how, like. And we spent a lot of time on it too. So. Yeah, like that video was ready early, but then as well, I was tweaking things, then this one just slipped through the cracks somehow. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Please like the video, subscribe, and please share it to anyone who you think needs to hear this. Yeah, when you guys do these things, they help us. YouTube thinks we're doing a good job, and they recommend us to other people. So we really appreciate you. You know, going out there. And just liking the video for us it does so much and we appreciate it okay. thanks <laughs> bye, bye.